Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 20, and this is war number 9, and we're going up against an alliance called Sin K, Craven. Now, I believe we fought one of their sister alliances just recently. Alright, so I've scouted out my path, and you're going to see something interesting. Uh, but I'm going in here with my standard team, so brought back my little warlock. And we're going to get in here and we're going to have some really tough fights in this first section. So let's go ahead up and see who I'm going to have to fight. Woo, tough one right there. I uh, might not get the one shot. I uh, may not get the one shot on that one either. And we're done. All right, so they didn't place any defender on that first section. Now, there was a Korg here the cord go in a moment we're gonna see what happened to that cord uh, because my alliance mate uh, sent over the video where he fought that cord uh, this is the first time he has uh, sent me a video so here it is uh, it is Ervas Q I'm not sure how to pronounce his name because I've never heard it actually pronounced but he's gonna go up against this cord with his Namor so you notice he healed up and I believe his Namor is Sig 200. So Namor is an awesome option for Korg. Uh, as you guys know, Korg does damage back when you attack him with a non-light attack. But Namor, when he is Sig 200, takes zero damage and the damage he would have received, he delivers it instead. Uh, I believe it's in the form of energy damage. I don't have a Namor myself, so I'm still not up on all of his uh, specifics, but that is the main thing that I remember about Namor, uh, is that he, with a maxed out Sig, would take no damage, and any damage he would have received, he deals back to his attacker. All right, um, so looks like he's doing very well here. Uh, when I fought this Korg with uh, Omega Red, who's also a good option for this fight, uh, it was the node, Mixmaster, that tripped me up. Uh, and he's got to deal with that node as well, and he's doing a wonderful job. Okay, we also have to deal with Stubborn, and look at that damage. All right, uh, once Namor got to a special three, he gets this buff, and it's a big boy buff. As you can see, Korg's dam uh, health just disappeared. All right, so uh, Namor is one of the champions that I do want to get uh, as a five star. Uh, I want to get a five star Omega Red also, but just look at Namor go. That was awesome. That was really awesome. All right, so now I will continue my journey. And. Remember that easy time I had in uh, section one? Don't have such an easy time in section two. All right, so since I didn't fight anyone in section one, I was eyeing this Electro. And I wasn't too worried about him. Uh, Omega Red is a great option for fighting Electro. The uh, tentacle attacks don't make contact, so I'm not gonna get any of that damage back. All right, it used to be back in the day, if you saw an Electro, oh man, you were um, really, really concerned unless you had a Black Widow, uh, you were gonna be taking a lot of damage. Now, this Electro is not awakened. So even the damage that I might take, you know, won't be all that much. Uh, but you can see here, Omega Red is not having any problem with this Electro. He used to be my nightmares. I actually thought, oh man, if I get him on my path, I'm wrecked because I didn't bring anyone. I had uh, Corvus at the time and I think Hyperion and I forget who I went into war with back in those days, but I didn't have a counter for Electro. All right, so this is what I was talking about. This mojo. So I would rather fight a couple of opponents in section one than having to deal with this mojo. I hate mojo. Uh, I don't fight with him well. I really do need to practice uh, a little bit more, but 
he makes an awesome defender even if he is not awakened. He does not need to be awakened in order to be an awesome defender. Very annoying defender. Um, so as you can see, I'm taking this fight seriously. I'm not trying to go in here um, you know, and underestimate him because I've gotten wrecked by him before. All right, so I chose to go in with Nick Fury and I'm gonna try and get that internal uh, bleed on him as quick as I can, boom, it's there. And now, I just wanna try to get this guy down. One of the things that I love about Nick Fury is that you have to essentially kill him twice. Okay, so all of this time right here, yes, I'm getting the degen damage and all that, but it doesn't matter because the real Nick Fury is not out. All right, so the more damage that I can do in this phase of Nick Fury, the better. Now, you notice that I just parried and blocked. Uh, that was uh, just to, to be safe, okay? But we got this mojo down, and the real Nick Fury didn't even have to come out. All right, but I started to, instead of trying to evade things, just block them, take the damage. Nick Fury, since the real Nick Fury hadn't even come out yet, take the damage, and if the real Nick Fury came out, we would just finish the fight even faster. So I ran out of uh, energy uh, after that fight, but now I get to fight my next guy. Now, you'll notice that the mini is already gone. My alliance mates are beasts. Uh, they took that guy noted. Um, I forgot who was even there now. Uh, but I'm not worried about this particular fight at all. Uh, Sunspot can do crazy damage on his special two. But as a defender, he doesn't worry me uh, nearly as much as that mojo worried me. Okay? Uh, now, I can't remember. I don't believe that uh, the boosts that I uh, ran with Mojo are still here. Uh, I think I boosted up just for that fight because, like I said, I wasn't really worried about this guy. Um, I didn't boost, I know, for it. So unless I had a boost from before, uh, I went in here unboosted, but not worried about him at all. If I died to him, oh, I think everybody would have heard my mouth. Uh, but he's not difficult at all. The node itself, you can see that I ignore the node and play him just normal. Uh, and that's gonna bite me. That's gonna bite me hard uh, in uh, some future wars. Uh, but for now, we got him down. Uh, we are not the worst for wear. And on to Mini Boss Island. All right, so now I need to give you guys a little bit of background of what's going on. So at this point, as you can see, the minis are up. And like a good soldier, I'm waiting for further instructions. Uh, look at how much time we have left in the war, okay? So I live stream every day, same time. I go live and I start getting tagged, asking, hey, can you help with that warlock? Look at now how much time we have left in the war. So hours have passed okay since i was ready to fight before i went live all right so uh i am not in a good mood when i have to switch gears uh call it a little ocd but when i'm doing something and at the time i had been prepared to go into variant five and finish off that exploration i believe that's what i was doing there um it may have been the boss rush, Omega boss rush. I don't remember exactly, but it was some of that content. And so my mind was not on doing this right now, but I hadn't started the uh, actual content. So, you know, I'm sitting there ranting about, you know, all of this and last minute, you know, kind of a thing. And this node in particular, I hate, okay? You've got Stunning Reflection, and I believe it's Debilitate. So if you stun them, the stun will get reflected to you, and stuns last 100% longer. So basically, if you get stunned, you're over with. 
Now, I don't really have a stun immune champion except for Nick Fury when the real Nick Fury comes out. All right, he's not the best to go up against a warlock though, since he can't bleed him. But it's somebody that could do that fight. All right, so you can see I'm taking the fight seriously, um, but my mind is not really in a good state to be fighting. Okay, I'm live, I'm agitated. And you really need to concentrate on this fight or else you're going to do something unconsciously and get wrecked. So I go in and I'm prepared to use all of my champions uh, since I didn't have a lot of fighting earlier. So I'm prepared to use all my champions to get this guy down and possibly the uh, hit monkey. So you'll notice that I'm not trying to stun. I'm not trying to parry. Uh, I'm just taking hits. But then that happened. OK, like I said, wasn't paying attention. And just look at this. That's it. That's over with. Nothing you can do. Okay? I train myself to do the parries, and sometimes the when you dash back, it registers as a parry. And so I can't tell you whether I tried to parry unconsciously or I tried to dash back and it read as a parry. Either way, it was a parry. I got stunned, and the fight was over. All the boosting that I just did, you know, all of the... You know, skills that I have acquired mean absolutely nothing once you get that parry and you get stunned. So you want to go into this fight with ideally a stun immune champion. OK, uh, if you have a stun immune champion, uh, you're going to do this node pretty well. But as you can see, I didn't really have one uh, unless you count Nick Fury when the real Nick Fury is out. But like I said, I was prepared to um, do what I needed to do to get this guy down and go on to that hit monkey. Uh, I wanted to save my Omega Red for hit monkey. So what I was going to do is go in with Nick Fury. I don't believe the Nick Fury was out yet at this time. Uh, and then when the real Nick Fury came out, stun immune, we were all good. So now keep in mind, all this time right here, I'm live. I'm live and I can't continue my content because we don't have that much time left, less than 30 minutes left in the war. And they may need me to help on the boss or uh, I might need to take out that uh, hit monkey. So I'm sitting here fuming and ranting and all of that good stuff waiting to see if I am needed uh, on, you know, maybe to finish off this uh, Warlock, if he doesn't finish him off, uh, and then to go on to Hit Monkey. But all I wanted to do, really, since I was boosted up, was to go ahead and get in there, use my guys, get these guys down, then get back to my live stream so that I could continue the content that I had advertised and what people, my viewers, were waiting to see. This is not what they were waiting to see, okay? Um, but they had to sit here waiting, watching with me, okay? And you can see there, it's a tough fight. So he didn't get him down, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not trying to jump on anyone's toes. That's something that I really dislike, okay? Um, when I'm working on getting someone down, and someone jumps in without being asked to do so, it's, it's I consider it a little bit rude, but you know, uh, folks do it all the time. All right, so in any case, after all of this waiting here, um, he finished off that warlock, then he moved on and was able to get that hit monkey down as well. Now, again, I was prepared to fight that hit monkey if it was needed, uh, but he was boosted as well. And he went ahead and went through and took out the hit monkey. So then I go back to my live stream. Finally, I'm able to continue the content or at least start the content that I had planned to do that day all right and then i get tagged again 
And I'm like, are you kidding me? Of course, now we have even less time and the boss is still up, but he's almost gone. So they're saying all in on the boss. The deaths don't matter. Just get him down. So once again, I interrupt my live stream to wait, see if I am needed to finish off this boss. Okay. And we actually did get a chance to fight the boss. So once I saw that he got hit monkey down, I went back to my live stream and then I started getting tagged again. And I'm like, are you kidding me? They needed help with getting this boss down. Look at the time we have left. They were like, um, the boss just needs to come down. It doesn't matter. Uh, deaths don't matter. The attack bonus is already gone. We just need to make sure we get the boss down. So once again, I divert my attention from my live stream to come here and help with this boss. So I'm sitting here right now fuming. Okay, if you guys were watching the live stream, you know my commentary while this was going on because I couldn't start my content that I advertised to all my viewers that I was gonna be doing. Instead, I was here and this should not have happened. We should have been done with our war hours ago. So I should not be in this position. OK, so I'm like, all right, they did a good job there. And before I could jump in there, someone else went in. You see, I, I clicked there. I was like, who did that? Because I want to jump in there and get this thing done so I could get back to my live stream. Now, this particular fight is really annoying. Uh, it's one of the things, just one of the many reasons that I hate war. Um, I've always hated war, but. The nodes that Kabam has recently added made war even more frustrating and annoying to me. Now, I can fight Thing. I know how to fight Thing. I've made a video on fighting Thing. Uh, I used to fight Thing with Blade. Now, I tested it out, and at a certain level, I forget what it was. It might have been a rank 5 or a 6 star rank 3. Blade just wasn't a best option to fight him on the boss node because just didn't have enough time. He didn't do enough damage. He didn't have enough time. Uh, and I fought a fight perfectly the best I could. And I just would have timed out. Okay. Uh, so I know how to fight thing, but then you have the global stubborn. Now that is really annoying. It makes this fight even more difficult. All right. Thing is already challenging. You need to manage his rock charges but then you have to deal with stubborn defense tactic on top of it so he's already stun immune so you try to get your in but he's going to fire off a heavy normally you can go in when they fire off their heavies right however if you're too slow you will trigger the stubborn they'll have indestructible and then you'll have to do it all over again uh, if you watched one of my fights, my previous fight against Thing uh, on this node with stubborn defense tactic active, then you'll know I got wrecked and it was just annoying. I got bumped into the corner. It, it just was not not fun at all. OK, so I was not looking forward to doing this again. However, I didn't get a lot of fights in early on and I still have Nick Fury. And uh, I believe, like I said, the real Nick Fury has not come out yet. And I have Omega Red. And my Omega Red is still full health. Okay? And that looks bad. You know, if I were to just continue my live stream, then I know someone would say something about the fact that I still had a full health champion and they needed me and, you know, yada, yada. Don't need that drama. This time I jumped in. Okay, now I learned a little bit from my last fight. You see, I already activated indestructible, but you'll notice right here, I dashed back a little bit faster. Okay, so you see here, 
I'm not trying to get in that corner. All right, see how I dash back a little early? No indestructible. And I, you know, countered with my own heavy. See, like right there? That's how you need to fight Thing. I'm not the best at that strategy, but this is the first time I'm practicing it, okay? Now, right there, I've learned how to evade that, but I have a bad habit of evading late. It's because I played with Starkey so long, and that's how you build up his poise charges. But we managed to finish off this thing, uh, and we were, again, not the worst for wear. Okay, so now we will find out just how this war actually ended. So after all of that, unfortunately, we lost this war. Now, we did get all three of our bosses down. However, Platinum 3 is no longer a possibility. But we are solidly in Platinum 4, and our goal was to get into Platinum. Now, we would have loved to have gotten Platinum 3, and that's what we were um, trying to push for uh, when we saw that it was possible. But now, we're allowed to place with suicides, and I'm pretty sure the attitude is a far more relaxed one. We still need to get all of our bosses down, however, but we are going to get Platinum 4 as long as we do that. Okay, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.